Shomoles APC mock primaries. Other aspirants stepped down for my principal. The political crisis rocking the All Progressive Congress APC in Edo State took a new twist a few days ago as a mock primary was held to pick a consensus candidate within the camp of Adam Soshomole, the national chairman of the party, to go head to head with Governor Godwin Obaseki. The candidate that emerges from the primary would then challenge Obaseki in the proper primary election of the All Progressive Congress APC scheduled for June 2020. Those vying for the ticket under the Oshomole faction include engineer Chris Ogiwonye, a former Minister of Works and a retired Group Executive Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Pius Odubu, former Deputy Governor under Oshomole, Dr. Solomon Edibiri, a former governorship aspirant, General Charles Ahiveri, a retired Army General, the PDP governorship election in 2012, and Pastor Osaige Ezeyamu, the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in 2016. The mock primary was, however, butched with all of the aspirants accusing Bola Tinubu, a former governor of Lagos State and the national levels of the APC, and Boss Mustafa, the secretary to the government of the Federation, SGF, of hiking the process up to favor Ize Iyamu. They accused the panel led by Professor Julius Ihonveri of not cresting a fair process, alleging that he was bought over by money bags from Lagos and Aso Rock. But an aide to Pastor Ize Iyamu, who spoke to Ninja Center correspondent on condition of anonymity, denied this allegation, noting that three of the four aspirants had stepped down for his principal. The claim from them is not true. How, how can Tinubu be controlling the politics of Edo State? It's all defense mechanism from them. It's a mere smoke screen to hide the truth. But Mustafa has more important issues he's handling at the moment. Don't forget that he's the head of the presidential tax force on COVID-19. He would not allow himself to be distracted by a mock election within a faction of a party, he said. He continued, I can tell you authoritatively that three of the candidates withdrew for Eze Iyamu ahead of the election. They agree that he's more popular and accepted than them. But a myth, Adam Soshomole, who a source within his camp noted that was viciously angry with the outcome of the process, and lambasted the panel that included Professor Julius Ihonveri, Chief Loki Imwasun, and General Cecil Esegbake for a shoddy job and process, noting that it made him look bad. An obviously angry Oshomole quickly disbanded the panel and abandoned that the following be put in place. First and foremost, Professor Julius Inhonveri panel be dissolved and a new panel to conduct a fresh selection process be constituted. A new date and venue should be communicated within a few days. Details and modalities of the process be properly stated and mandated all aspirants to take part in the process to forestall bikering over withdrawal of all stepping down that is common with such process so this this um this apc uh um crisis it's really it's really getting serious and it's getting out of hand so right now we know apc the apc both all the aspirants that are coming out for the governorship uh, election um there are four of them at the moment that is known to us but it looks like it's just them, the, um, the incumbent governor, the current governor, Governor Godwin Obaseki, who is on his own. These other, part, these other um, aspirants, they are all together. So that's Ize, Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu, um, Pius Odubu, um, Chris Ogiwonye, and, um, and Chas Ahiveri. So all of these guys are on the same side, but it's been alleged right now 
that they have all stepped down for Ize Iyamu because of his popularity. I really don't understand that. We have not heard from um, the other aspirants, um, Chris Ogiwanye, if that is really correct, if they are all stepping down to push forward um, Osai, um, Osaige Ize Iyamu. We know that what the primaries, what they are meant to do in the primaries is to um, pick a flag bearer um, who's going to represent them in the 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 fourth um, coming um, election. But right now, even if all of them step down for Osage, what about um, uh, the present governor? What happens to the present governor? Obaseki is still there. He's not letting go anytime soon. He's not giving up. He still wants to be governor. So uh, we don't know who is going to step step down for who. But right now, at least it's made the job easier if it's really, if um, as it's been alleged that um, the other party stepped down for uh, Pastor Osage Ize Yamu, he still has um, Obaseki to deal with. And right now we know that um, even as Ewaju Bola Tinubu, it has been alleged that um, he's, uh, he's making some movies, showing some favoritism, and even Boss Mustafa, who has been a long-standing friend of Pastor Isaige Izeyamu, um, it's been alleged that both of them are trying to push, they are the ones pushing um, Pastor Isaige Izeyamu to be the flag bearer. But um, sources reveal that um, Bola Tinobu denied it and said, he, um, how can he be ruling, controlling the APC in Edo State? He's not in Edo State, he's not from Edo State. How is that possible that all of those are just uh, mere allegations? And then, but um, the thing is, that what the truth is that um, there's really nothing that is hidden that that's not going to come out. If it's really true that um, they are behind them, um, Bola Tinubu is really behind them, um, pushing Pastor Saige Izeyamu above the other aspirant, is still going to come out. But if in turn that they are the ones that willingly stepped down, then fair enough, fair enough. Then um, all they need to do is to wait for the, the main election that is due in September and um, Edo Light will cast their vote. And um, I really don't know how this would be. Even the primary, it's very close. Primaries is just next month. So we still have, like I said, we still have, um, um, even if um, Osage is the one they've pushed forward from the Oshomales camp. We know there are two camps right now, the Oshomales camp and the Obaseki's camp. So even if it's um, Eze Yamu that they are taking from um, Oshomales camp, he still has um, Obaseki to deal with. And then we know that it's all the stakeholders, all the party members that will um, pick the final candidates for um, who is going to be the flag bearer for the uh, the governorship election. So, uh, my people, I want us to leave our take once again on this um, APC election, this uh, those state election. I know a lot of people can't wait for this to be done with. At least let's let's get our governor and let's um, continue to move the state forward and let's put away. And political gains and let, let all of those battles at least after the governorship election is ended and uh, whosoever emerges to be the governor of the state i believe um, there will be some peace hopefully there'll be some peace in apc in the apc camp and everyone will be um, would, would rest would have some rest so people please do leave your take leave your comments down below in the comment section let us know what you feel uh some people uh, for some reasons they feel like pastor saige is a yamu it's really gaining popularity, but some are still not letting go. Uh, um, they, they still feel that he's not lawyer enough. He's not been in APC long enough. He has only just decamped from PDP. He was a president. Uh, he was a governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party. That was in 2016, and um, uh, they, they 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 are still skeptical about him, about uh, his um, being governor under the APC. Um, under the APC camp. So let us know what you think. If you still share in that school of thought that you still don't trust them, Osage Ize Yamu, let us know as well. And then want to say thank you to everyone that have subscribed. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, do click on the subscribe button down below and also hit on the notification bell. It enables you to get updates of all of our latest news as they come in. And please don't forget to hit on the like button. Do give us a thumbs up just to let us know you do appreciate what we're doing here. So till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.